and lucky enough to be joined this morning by Sarah Gulch from the Imagination Station. Good Hi, morning. Sarah. Good morning. Okay, so we're going to start with safety glasses today. Okay. Because we're going to do some pretty intense science. I, you know what I planned for this look? When awesome. you guys come in, I'm like, oh, I'm definitely wearing safety glasses today. <laughs> okay, so um, what we're going to talk about today is glass because we live in the glass city, so yes. it's kind of a cool connection for us to make. Um, so there are different types of glass, and we have a lot of plate glass at our home, so it's in like picture frames and windows. Okay. And we know that if that gets broken, it creates all those jagged, sharp, very dangerous pieces. Yes, absolutely. I've all dropped right. a picture frame or two. But plate glass is actually what is in your car windshield, but it's true a little bit differently it's two pieces of plate glass that are fused together with a piece of laminate in the middle okay. so what that does is it kind of captures all of those pieces so I'm actually going to let you hit this one okay with a hammer all right ready so, yeah go for it okay go ahead oh do it again there oh. you go okay so Let's take a look at that. I can pick this up and you can see all of those oh spider gosh. web pieces. And you can see how it created these big long lines, but they're all contained because of that laminate. So it makes it a lot safer. Oh and wow, yeah. Think about your car windshield. It's constantly coming into contact with rocks and stones yes. and things that could shatter it. There are moments where I look and something hits and I'm like, wow, like that could have you done <laughs> some damage if so that bad. wasn't there. Right, absolutely. Um, but there's another type of glass in your car. It's actually called tempered glass and it's heat treated. So it's okay. a little bit different. Um, I actually put a piece of tape on this one because I don't want any of its small pieces to come towards us yes. when we shatter it in a minute. Okay. Um, but heat treated glass has a cool process. It actually is um, heated very intensely. So the whole thing kind of starts to expand mm -hmm. and then they blast cool the outside. So now the outside is kind of combating the inside. It's trying to shrink while the inside's still trying to grow and it causes a lot of stress in the glass. And that stress is good because it, it makes it a lot more durable. And this wow. is what you're going to find like in your back panel windows. Okay. All right. So I'm going to let you hit this one with a hammer too. Okay. <laughs> so go ahead and give it kind of a light tap. Oh. Okay. Have it again. Harder? Yep. <laughs> Use your muscle. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, that what? is incredibly difficult to break. And use the same hammer used on our laminated glass, right. but it stayed all intact. Now, what's cool about tempered glass is that because of science, mm -hmm. we can use a lot less effort to get a much different effect. Okay. So you maybe have seen one of these. Yes. This is actually an emergency escape hammer. You might even have one in your glove box. But as you can see, it has one very small, sharp point. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is we're going to use that point to release the stress that is inside that glass. So okay. this one, I'll trade you. So okay. Gonna, you're, all you have to do is give it a light tap with this one, and it's going to hit it and break it oh. a little bit harder. There ah! you go. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You know what's funny is I almost felt that release. Do you want to do another one real quick? I do. Okay, yeah. go for it. Okay, totally do. Ready? <laughs> Three, two. Yeah. To pick up the wow. corner of this one and you can see that's incredible that your back window if you have any kind of impact or collision it's going to kind of shatter into all those small little pieces and that's why i put the tape on it because i didn't yes. want those to be a danger to us today right absolutely but it's pretty amazing that's the kind of stuff you see on the road wow now, are you up for breaking some more glass yes okay well i'm going to take your hammer this time okay <laughs> <laughs> i won't take weapons around at you <laughs> well we're going to use an even better weapon so we're actually going to use a sword <laughs> <What>? today <laughs> All right, okay. so I'm going to put that there, and what you're going to do is I'm actually going to teach you how to Yay! saber. Party trick! Yeah. So now you're going to be, like, even more amazing than you already are. Okay? Yes, thank you. Okay. So the proper way to remove the cork from a champagne bottle, as you can see right here, there's actually a seam where the two pieces of the bottle are fused together. Wild. Okay. Okay. And then there's a lip around the outside edge, and the point where those two things meet is called the annulus, and it's actually the weakest point on the bottle. Okay. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold this in your left hand. You want to have it kind of extended. Okay. You're, you're right-handed, aren't you? Yes, Okay. I so am. you're going to hold your sword in your right hand. <laughs> Right. And you're going to line up right on that seam. You want your sword at about a 45 degree angle. Okay. You're going to follow down that seam right to where it meets that lip. Okay. okay. Now you want to go in one swift motion and you're going to follow through with your sword. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you're just going to go down and out. Okay. All right. So yes. I'll give you your sword. Thank you. All right. My goodness. I'll dry this off Arr. so you have a nice easy surface. Okay. okay. So go ahead and get that comfortable in your hand. Anyone who goes to a party with me now should be worried in the <laughs> okay. future. Now okay. Remember, one swift, quick motion <laughs> okay. whenever you're ready. Ah! <laughs> How cool is that? Wow. 
Nice and that see. barely took any effort. Yeah, and we only use, lost a little bit out of the bottle. We yes. want it nice and cold because that kind of keeps our carbonation inside, which okay. is what makes our champagne taste good. <laughs> That's Isn't wild. That cool? Yes, I love it? that. I'll let you keep this. Okay, it's awesome. It's probably too early to celebrate, but. <laughs> <laughs> Never on this show. There are some awesome things happening at the Imagination Station, and you guys are also signing kids up for summer camps. Yes. So we're excited about that. All right, check out our uh, website, imaginationstationsledo.org. Absolutely, we will. Thanks for joining us. We will be back right after this quick break.